On today's show, we're gonna take some leftover meatloaf and turn it into something amazing. Guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. It is greatly appreciated. Guys, so look, today's show, we're gonna take that leftover meatloaf. I'll put the uh, video up here if you've not seen that meatloaf this is just a, a recipe idea we're going to take two slices of rye bread we're going to butter it up we're going to put it out on the blackstone 22 inch electric griddle and we are going to patty melt it up oh yeah guys i think this is pretty cool you can win a personalized haley home cutting board valued at 114 dollars the same boards is used at the gallery backyard barbecue one entry per person ends 723 information in the description sunday night 7 11 that is july 11 6 p.m eastern that is 6 p.m new york time our weekend wind down barbecue chat slash giveaway way is on and this week it is some gallery swag so look guys this is going to be an easy one some easy prep this is just going to be a flat out fun recipe to do first up we're going to take about a half an onion and you want thin slices because we're going to caramelize it out that is cooking it slow bring out all those great flavors in the uh in the onion i went with half in reality i should have did a whole oh yeah there you go slow cook oh man so look we got the uh, blackstone griddle we got it on low about 350 we'll bring it up slow we're looking at about a 20 minute cook again you want to sweat the onions out you don't want to fry the onions you don't want to cook them too fast there you go make sure they're all uh, broken up of course you want good contact Guys, remember, very important to the recipe, you want to bring these onions up slow. I mean, we're talking about 20 minutes or so on a low setting. You want to caramelize the onions, and that is the only way to do it. You don't want to fry them. You're not doing a fried onion. Bring them up slow at least 20 minutes. Seriously, that is so important to the recipe. Oh, yeah. So you kind of see the onions are kind of like wilted out. They're cooked slow. That way you know they're getting caramelized and nice. We will take this through to the next stage. Oh yeah. And there you go. <laughs> so look, we'll get those pushed off to the uh, side and we'll tend to our leftover meatloaf. Again, recipe up in the card up top. But hey, man, any meatloaf will do. We're gonna go with about a half inch slice and we got a pretty big piece of rye bread. So we're gonna go with three slices. Okay. Here you can see we got a nice a little smoke ring on this meatloaf. And again, recipe card up above and down in the description. Oh, yeah. So look, basically what we're going to do here, I mean, look, this is just like a patty melt with a, uh, 
with ground beef or a burger patty. Uh, you gotta butter the bread. You wanna butter both sides of the bread eventually. Basically, you're gonna do like a, uh, like a jacked up grilled cheese. You're gonna flip both sides, blah, blah, blah. You'll see in a second. Oh, yeah, that's good. So we got everything on. We got the meatloaf warming up. We got good half inch slices there with a nice little smoke ring as you could see. We got our bread getting ready and our onions are caramelizing. So look from there, what you want to do is just bring that bread up slow. Be careful not to burn it as the uh, meatloaf gets warmed up. You want to get a uh, kind of like a grilled cheese without the cheese right now, right? Give it a flip over and go to the next step. So once flipped over, I'm going with uh, Swiss cheese. I'll go three slices per, uh, per bread. As the process begins. As you can see, kind of in the uh, background, we got a little crust forming on that uh, on that meatloaf. So look from there, you got the uh, meatloaf warmed up, you got the cheese starting to melt, you got some butter under. What you want to do basically is build your sandwich. Look, I'm going with that raspberry chipotle. I got a link down below. I mean, this stuff is through the charts, man. You've seen me use it on my show. If you don't have this, just use your uh, favorite BBQ sauce. Oh, good. Don't use ketchup. Oh, yeah. And that was my end run of that sauce. If I had more, I would have put a lot more on, but it is what it is. As noted here, the uh, process is just uh, heat flip, heat flip. You want to get that bread nice and crispy. Oh, yeah. Heat flip, heat flip. It's got to be. There you go. So like I said, heat flip, heat flip. You see me tapping the, uh, tapping on the bread. That's because I want it to crisp up nice, man. This is a uh, rye bread that needs to crisp. I mean, you got the smoky meatloaf work, and you got the uh, Swiss cheese. You got that uh, raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce. I mean, what isn't there not to like about this?
Guys, look, as we get this on the board, get ready to bow out to bring this in live. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. Man, it is greatly appreciated. Summer of 21 is moving along. All right, guys, look, that is it. And I got to say, man, it is about 99 or 100. I think the news said it's, it's going to feel like about 110 out here. For, so for that alone, you got to smash that like up. I mean, I am friggin' drenched. So look, there's really is nothing to this recipe. You've seen the classic patty melts. I mean, the most important thing is, again, is to bring up those onions slow to caramelize them. Um, when you put the bread on, you want to get enough butter on there, but you don't want to burn the bread, right? So kind of low I went I think I went about 375 400 just keep on flipping it it's all gonna heat up it's all gonna melt just follow the video I used a little bit of that BBQ sauce that uh, raspberry chipotle I mean how could I not if you've ever tried that stuff you'll know that it is just uh, it takes everything to the next level I mean it's not overpowering but man it just seems to go with everything again I got links for all that stuff down below I'm gonna put up in the card up top, if you've not seen my meatloaf video, you wanna check that out. So let's get in a little cut here. Oh, man. Look at that. Let's take a look at that. Look at that onion in there. Let me pull this apart. There's your onion, the cheese. Got a little bit of meatloaf. As you can see, I am sweating. So look, cheers. Guys, that raspberry chipotle really makes it, man, really takes it to the next level. I'm guessing if you use any of your favorite BBQ sauces that you may have, we'll do the same thing. So look, we are gonna cut out of this video as so I'll roll my Patreons and YouTube join members. I got information down below. Don't forget Sunday night, I will see you there, 6 p.m. Eastern. We'll do a weekend wine down barbecue chat slash giveaway. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. And until next time. We will see you soon.